Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Be a Rookie on National Hockey League 23. Doesn't it sound weird when you say it that way? Like, it just does not sound right at all. EA Sports. National Hockey League 23. <laughs> it just doesn't have the same ring to it, you know? The skill tree is yelling at me, which makes sense because, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did have a trait that we have not yet applied. Should I go stick low or should I go glove low? I remember I wanted to do one of those two specifically. And they are both 84. I feel like we struggle more on the glove. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that one. I don't think that that one overall boost is going to do much, but potentially and it is time for the golden knights to take on the playoffs and then we will likely be starting year three because i simply refuse to believe that both goalies aka jonathan quick and robin Leonard, are gonna get injured making me the forced starter just in case anybody wants a roster update this is what our offense looks like we are quite stacked to be honest with you patrick kane and nate mack on the first line playing with march so they should just put stone or eichel up there just to make that line that much dirtier. No offense, March. So you're doing great. Actually, I think he did very well points wise this year. Defensively, we have Theodore and Petrangelo. Spurgeon playing with Lindell, who I believe, again, not fully sure, but pretty confident that he was a trade deadline pickup. Oh, Robin Leonard is still out. So it's going to be Jonathan Quick leading the charge, and TJ is the backup. We're also going to get a new ability at the end of this year, which is splendid. I'm going to do the calendar simulation because I just feel like it's easier and we can kind of see what's going on. All right. So so once again, I'm just going to continue simming. No idea how we unlocked that when we did nothing. That's a lot of goals in two games. Holy smokes. Between the two teams. Well, I mean, I was going to say there was 16, but I'm just trying to say that, like, you know, the 8 and the 8. But there was more than that because you got to add 5 to that. So there was a solid 21 goals. Quick mass. The lads are currently up 2-1. to one. Can we go up 3-1 against the Calgary Flames? Yes, we can. All right. So I don't want to jump the gun here, but we're in pretty good shape to make it past the first round for the first time. And we do just that in just five games. The Arizona Coyotes will be our round two opponent. I feel like, no, we didn't play them in the play. Did we? For some reason, I feel like we played Calgary last year as well. But I also remember playing Arizona, but that might've just been me jumping into the game. Anyway, they went to seven and we only had five games. We are now down by two. Let's try to make it a best of three here, and we do manage to do that. Which squad will take the lead in the best of three? It's gonna be the Golden Knights. Will we go to a game seven though? Yes, we do. Can I, I just, I can't jump. Oh my word, that's unfortunate. I thought we had him, I really did. I guess I can't sim to next season. I'm literally just spamming this, waiting for something to happen. But likely the only thing that's gonna happen if I keep doing that is a game crash. So I'm just gonna simulate up to here and see what happens. The Yotes went on to win the Stanley Cup. All right, so after defeating us, they won two more series in a row to take home the ultimate prize. And we did get dialed in. I just wanted to skip past it because it was just a silly interview thing, didn't really matter, but I should be able to apply it now. Abilities, yep, one new ability on, oh no. How do we get this? Oh, we have to buy, mmm, is that what that does? Okay, plus two X Factor points. That makes so much sense now. We can get plus one X Factor with a clothing brand, but I don't think we will be able to afford that anytime soon. All right, well, yeah, I guess we gotta start saving up. Our blocker's at 85. I, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna once again spend it on glove which doesn't even get us a full attribute. All right, didn't know that. I thought you were basically guaranteed to go up by one. No, that is not the case. Exceptional reaction time, recovery, and save ability after making 15 saves in a game. So do I want that over the poke check is the question. And I think that I do. Exceptional range, accuracy, recovering from poke check. Yeah, I feel like dialed in is just a little bit better. And with the season complete, we can now look at all the trophies. I believe that they fixed the color of the Navig- You know those little rectangle things down there? I was gonna say square. That is not a square. Well, technically. Anyways, I remember in previous years, you couldn't even see it. So it looks like they at least fixed that, which is nice. But there's all your team awards, individual trophies. Connor McDusty gets the Art Ross and the Heart. The Norris goes to McAvoy. Did I already read these? These look familiar. McDavid also gets the Lady Bing. Turcotte with the Calder. Huberto gets the Con Smite. The Vesna goes to Vazzy. William Jennings to Sergey. Pullman gets the Bill Masterton. Sasha gets the Selkie. McDusty gets the Lindsay as well. And then Matthews with the Rocket Richard. In case there was any interest, this is how the playoff tree all went down. You can see that the Arizona Coyotes were taken to seven in the first two rounds. And then they were only taken to six against the Blues. 
dusted the East. A sweep in the final. And on that note, it is time to simulate to the next season. Very nice. We get two more trade points. I absolutely love the lack of meetings in that offseason. Incredible. I don't even think there was one. 80 overall, by the way. Not a big deal. Just gonna simulate past the entire preseason because obviously. You expect me to actually play that? No way. Oh, I could get light work as well if I have a 7,500 team-like ability by the end of the year. Why would I want to do that one? That one's way harder. So yeah, I'm gonna do the 7,500 one, which I Again, I'm pretty sure we already have. And now I have the ability to get contortionist? What is going on here? Okay, in a single season, have a save percentage of 9, 10 or higher and get five shutouts? Get five shutouts and a 900. Okay, so I have two options. Obviously, I'm gonna go with the 900. And obviously, we are not gonna accomplish this unless we are the starter, but I don't think we will be yet. Maybe. Five, one, and one in the preseason. That doesn't mean anything, but I'm still kind of gassed about it. We are in for the season opener. So maybe, just maybe, we will be the starting goalie. Training, we have five hours left. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and assign some of this. This is four hours per week, sure, and then five whole training. Why not? Let's go ahead and do that. We also have the skill tree where we got two points. Glove high, oh wow. We already have a pretty good glove, apparently. And our glove low isn't bad. Blocker, not too shabby. Angles, not phenomenal. So we could maybe try to lean into that. I don't really wanna do anything there. What are these ones again? Rebound control, that's actually huge. Rebound control is massive, and then this one is recovery. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna use it on rebound control because we need that stat to be good. A lot of goals that go in, I feel, are shots off the mini wheat. They just come in, bury the rebound. So if we can control that, we might be able to stop some more goals. Moment of truth. Let's see what the team looks like going into season number three. So they took my word for it. They put Stone, McKinnon, and Kane together. We got Victor Arvidsson playing with Eichel and Kopp. Mojo with Carlson and Achari. Okay, we have a very good team here. I like this again, yeah. Defensively, we got Theodore, Petrangelo, Spurgeon, Lindell, and then McNabb and White Cloud. In net, we have, okay, so maybe they are going with me as the starter. He's down to 83, I'm only an 80, but you know, I got that X factor, the ability, perhaps they're giving the rookie a go. But let's jump into our season opener here against the LA Kings. TJ, let's get started on the right foot. First period. Nice. We take that all day. Nate Mack, 15 shots. That's a lot. Second period. This game's not even worth jumping into, so I'm just going to simulate it. But wow, what a performance. 7-1 and a 26 save performance from TJ. What a season opener. We have to be the starter. We're playing again in game number two, and this will be our home opener. We're going up against the Edmonton Oilers, who bury one in the first period on five shots. Uh-oh. Second period. So they now have 12 shots and two goals. We might be able to come back from this one. I'll jump in. Hopefully also I can make a fair amount of saves and we get that save percentage up. I know that our first game, it was very good. So we definitely will not be dropping below a 900 in this performance unless I get lit up back here like a Christmas tree. But let's just hope that does not happen. Hello, Patrick Kane getting fancy with it already. Maybe we should get closer to tying this game up before we start pulling out all these... Fancy pantsy deeks, okay? Just my two cents on the situation. You know what? Scratch that. He probably does it with ease, so I'll let him do his thing. Oh, the audio finally came back, or the crowd anyway. I was gonna say, it seemed very quiet again, but we have it all sorted out now. The crowd is alive, and they are well. Poke check. How? Okay, thank you. Th that, what a good referee. What an absolute legend that man is. The poke check was huge, and then, yeah, come on, that's no goal. That's obviously no goal. I don't even think it's going to be reviewed. Pretty sure that Rafa Maria was just like, no, I don't think so. Yup. First time coming out to play the puck this year. And that will go to Mojo. Great breakout. Holy. That was elite. Definitely practiced that once or twice before. Ah, yes, of course. But of course. Oh, no. Oh no, yes he, yeah, get destroyed. Holy crap, if he went to his, that would have been his backhand, right? If he went backhand, he would have had three whole nets wide open. But I decided that I was going to basically be a soccer goalie and guess where he was going. It worked out, so that likely would have been a good spot to do a flying poke check or even just a regular poke check. But I mean, the save worked, so I'm not overly upset with how I played that. No way! Okay, thank you. I'm pretty sure that was post post and in. A tip right in front by Nate Mack. And that was very close to not going in. But thankfully, it ultimately crossed the line. 
That is a 3-1 goal. So we are back. Yep, it was post-post. We've returned to the two-goal differential. We also still have half the period to go. That's saved, and I'll pass that out to you, McNabb. Just stand in there, you know? And I feel like it worked out because you got past both the guys. Oh, yeah? What a play! If that went in, goal of the year already. Whoopsie daisies. Headed to the PK. Andrew Cup. Gonna take two minutes for tripping. Let's try to kill this thing off. Yeah, oh my. Do you see that fan there? What is going on with that guy? Right to the right of the graphic. He is stuck in time. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And I am going to send that to you. Who sends it right down the ice? All right, true. I kind of forgot that we were on the PK. Thanks for reminding me. Achari's having the PK of his life out there. Just got two great chances. Leveled somebody. We need him out there more often. This guy clearly wants to win. Lukonen's playing like an absolute stud. So pretty much that's a charge if I've ever seen one. Great hit though. <laughs> yeah, he was clearly standing on his head in the simulation. Didn't let in a single goal. And now, although he did let in one, still playing phenomenal. Referee. I mean, don't kick him out of the game. <laughs> I was going to say, he just clearly charged you as well. But nope, didn't do that. It was by accident. So if we do manage to kill this off, we're going to have about three minutes to get two goals, which it is possible. But I mean, the way their goalie's playing, it's going to be extremely difficult. There's a save. There's another one. And McDusty is all up in my grill. So I will be smothering that one. Hopefully we can get a big draw win here and send it right down the ice. How much time's left on the PK? Maybe like 40 seconds, something like that. Let's go. Who's in the draw? I honestly cannot read your name. And I have my glasses on. <laughs> anyway, a minute left, which is a little bit more than I thought. Yamamoto. Oh, where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. White Cloud, you beauty. Leon with the toe drag shot. He's been taking shots from above that circle all game long. Just putting them on net, you know, which is a good strategy, honestly. Put pucks on net and they might go in. You never know. Nate Mack goes for a deke and the pass almost gets there. But Yamamoto was back checking like a madman. To make sure that we don't get back into this thing. Down to the final minute. We have not been generating much offense in the last several minutes. I mean, we were on the PK for a while there. But still, since the PK, we haven't been able to get anything going. Right there it is! Alright. Yep. I thought that was going to be a guaranteed goal, but what do I know? That's a big hit. He's not hurt though. He got up, so that's good. We almost scored, but it would have been too little too late anyway. Okay, so definitely not as good as our season opener, but not a terrible performance. How many shots did they end up with? 22. Not great, but I'll still take it. We met the overall objective, I'm just saying. We also still have a 918 save percentage. I didn't think it would be that high. Holy. Columbus is also 2-1-0. That's a 1-1 start. Oof. Okay, not great. And... Yeah, they did have 34 shots, which does not justify five goals. And just like that, our save percentage is an 891. That didn't take very long. So I think the other game did drop it more and it just didn't register right away. But 1-1 one, one after 1 against the Pity Pens. Okay, phenomenal. Owen Tippett going to bury two. I love this game, guys. We're 2-3-0 going up against the Rangers who are doing phenomenal this year. Another second period... Two goals by the same person again. I feel like that has happened all three of these games. Oh my word. At least that was an empty netter. So you know what? We technically let in three goals on 39 shots. Not bad. Apparently we suck. We're 2-5-0. This could be turned around very quickly. It's still very early into the season. You know, we're seven games in here. So we can't jump to any conclusions. But I will, however, jump into this game. Why did I do this to myself? Now I have to face shots from Ovi. That was a rookie mistake. Should have just simulated this one. They have it behind the net. Go in front. Okay, that's a couple saves to start this one. No, no, no. I don't think so, Ovi. Get out of here. Ooh, they're getting a penalty. Nice. Going to be on the power play for once, which means free team play, perhaps. It was Ovi, too. Make that pass. What a shot. Andrew Kopp blasts it home from the hashies, and that gives your Golden Knights the lead. Yeah, celebrate, lads. Here we go. Hopefully, I can play at least half decent back here. Splendid pass. Oh, my word. Samsonov didn't stand a chance. Samsonov, I don't know which one it is. And yeah, I know the rosters are all whack. They aren't updated. Blame, be a pro, okay? Not me. Arvidsson, this guy. We have a team out here of just hard workers, and I love to see it. Not only do we have the finesse, the pizzazz, and the skill from our first line, but our bottom lines are just workhorses by the looks of it. 
So I think we should have a good team this year, although our current record does not state that. I think we'll pick it up here. Take the hit to make the play. Gets the breakout done. And we don't really do much with it, unfortunately. Chandler goes in the middle to Gostas Bear. Over to Backstrom, who is now entering our zone. Sends it in. I was about to go for that. Pretty happy that I did not. No way! What a save by Samsonov! We could have had a two-goal lead. That would have been the insurance marker. Oh, he's one goal away from a hat trick. If they end up pulling their goalie, okay, this is a long shot, I know. But if we get to that point, someone feed that man the puck. Man, he is getting tested out here today. We've had so many good chances. So, to be fair to him, he has let in a goal, but definitely standing his ground back there. Twelve and a half minutes to go. Lilligren has it. No, 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 no. Yeah, when they have the puck... Just bouncing around in the slot right there. That is nearly, if not more deadly, than when they're behind the net setting something up. Actually, I feel like the whole behind the net thing is basically just scar tissue from the past at this point. Because I don't think they've had a whole lot of success doing that this year. I feel like I've saved most of those. So, mostly it is just the ones in front of the net. Where the puck's bouncing around, you have no idea where or when it's going to be shot. Michael Rasmussen is headed off two minutes for holding. Can we get another goal here? And the insurance marker, or can I at least get some team play? You know, have the Caps send the puck down my way. Eichel, what a play! Samsonov again, though, is there to meet it. What a performance from him. Honestly, if he wasn't such a stud out there, I could easily see us being up by three already with the amount of chances we've had in this third. Nate Mack, let's go. Set something up here. We still got 40 seconds left. Takes the shot, and that will be covered. Okay, so we got a draw. That's good. In their zone. About 30-ish seconds left on the power play. Tons of time to capitalize here. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought for sure that somehow, some way, I was going to end up regret coming out to play that puck. But no, it somehow worked. Look at that. An 890 save percentage and a 1-4-0 record. That is disgusting. We really have to pick that up. Hopefully, we take this dub. And that is the start of something. Oh no. Oh no. They're moving it and trying to get tips and whatnot. They're not going to give it to me easy. That's for sure. Chandler is in. Oh ho ho ho! Did I even get a piece of that? Was that a save? Because if so, fire me vertical. It was definitely all for show. The puck went here. Kind of tried to backhand it. But Theodore in front. Going to level him. And... Yeah, it was theatrics, but whatever. Still a save. Take the hit to make the play again. He gets dropped, but... How's that happen then? It's like a saucer pass that went off the guy's... Like, stick, and I don't know, maybe got more momentum, or did he punch it or something? I don't know what happened there, but it happened. No, no, no. Smother it. That scared me. <laughs> Ovi, undisciplined, takes another penalty. Two minutes for slashing. That's great news for us. No! The puck meets Irene. Even when we beat Samsonov, we cannot beat the net. Nice passing, though. I like it. We're setting something up here. Carlson goes in the middle. Another shot. And that will be right into the chest of Samsonov. Or maybe the stomach, whatever. But yeah, I don't think you're getting a goal in through there. Again, he's there to make the save. This guy's on fire right now. Oh, no. Thought he was going to get rocked way harder than that. But thankfully, it wasn't a big hit. And I want Cop to get a hat-trick, so I'm very happy he's out there on the power play right now. Let's make it happen. Theodore spins around. Not the best idea. They might get a breakaway here. They did not, and he sends it in. Okay, that's very decent. Send it that way because all the capitals were headed the other way for some reason. Nice pass. Cop goes in the middle to Carlson, who has a go and another save by Samsonov. That one, not as impressive, but still a good save nonetheless. Yep, and I'm going to pass it that way. Please get there. Oh, that works. That works well. 40 seconds. Unfortunately, Cop isn't out there for the empty net. And we also refuse to shoot at the empty... That's how we score an empty netter, really. Okay. boy, Carlson. Just gets in front of the net. A simple poke from, I believe it was Mark Stone. I don't even think that Max should really get credit for that. But who am I to say that? In the middle, get... Absolutely rinsed Kuznetsov. Coach, why is Cop not on the ice right now? They have another empty net. Stone, he'll get credited for that one. 5-2, and that is definitely game. Caps might have a chance to get one more here, which would only hurt me, but I don't think that 
No, nah, there's eight seconds. It's not gonna happen. Wow, they had 30 shots too. That's really gonna help our save percentage. Once again, when it's all green, it's a thing of beauty. We had a 904 save percentage, which isn't as high as I thought it would be. Our overall is now an 891, but that might change when you simulate to the next game, because I think it doesn't update immediately. Perhaps it does. Perhaps it doesn't. We're now 3-5-0, 26th in the league, James. I don't think so. It's time for a big sim here to get through a good chunk of the season. We're not off to a great start. 6-8, no. I don't know why we're doing so poorly. I feel like we should be sick. You know what, Nate? I would love to go to a jazz show with you. Honestly, there's nothing I would rather do in this entire world. Okay, we're kind of bringing it back here. And we have not been letting in a lot of goals recently, which is amazing. Very happy to see that. The simulation is treating us nicely for once. You're facing the Seattle Kraken. What's your plan for stopping Connor Bedard? Well, you see... It's the same plan I have for literally everybody else. Don't let the puck in the net. You know? Crazy concept, I know. We won 4-3 in a shootout, but I guess one of their superstars scored. My bad. I mean, that's kind of what superstars do. That's why they're a superstar. They score goals. Well, not always, you know, you could have like a superstar defensive player, but still, you know what I mean. We've really turned it around 16-11-0 after that rough start is a record that I will absolutely be taking, all things considered. We're also up to an 81 overall now, so we're getting up there. Right now, we're fifth in the division, though, so the Pacific is quite competitive this year. 16-11-0 is also not the best record in the world, but yeah, it is is what it is. Whoa, we're ninth in the league and sixth in the division? Okay, never mind. Nate Mack leading the charge with 31 points in 27 games. Hatrick Kane's got 29, Stone 25, good stuff. Petrangelo 19. How are the goalies doing? 12 8 no, two shutouts. Okay, and a 9 16, so we could potentially. Which one was it? I can't remember what the ability was, but we're on pace for it, it looks like. Leonard, 4 3 0 with a 9 9, so the goalie's definitely at least holding their weight this year. All right, well, that is approximately one third of the season. And although we didn't start so hot, we definitely turned it around. We also have the personality of disruptor. Don't really know what that means, but I don't like that word, so hopefully we can change that. Unless it's a good thing, maybe it is. But on that note, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.